Other than the media days thing, probably the biggest news today is the, the softball thing coming back. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? And how how'd you guys, you know, how this come back up? Uh, we're definitely really excited about it. Everyone's pumped up. Um, kind of get the offense and defense little rival, rivalry game. And, uh, you know, hopefully raise some money for uh, the Women's Center here at Boise State and some scholarships. So were you there a couple years ago when Bo Martin hit the, the walk-off jack? I wasn't there. I wasn't there, but... Uh, Heard about it. Heard it was pretty fun, and I uh, can't wait to get out there. What, do you, uh, what, what about your squad here? I don't know which. I don't know if you get special teams or what. But what do you make of the, the offense's chances here? Uh, I just made the lineup today. I'm really excited about it. Um, you know, hopefully we can schedule some batting practice before. Got to watch out for Joey Marano, obviously, but uh, it'll be fun. Do you at least get Rasa? I mean, he played. We do. Get Rasa. Okay. Yeah, obviously, obviously, Brett has got a ba baseball background as well. Who, who else are you counting on that actually has some skill out there? Um, I'm hoping for some big things out of Cedric Wilson. He played in high school, so we'll see. So you got three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any of the linemen? Uh, Steven Bagger will play, Mario, um, who else? Travis Averill. What position are you going to play or do you play? Uh, center field. We'll see. You mentioned the competition angle of it. Why, why is it important for you guys to do this? You know, whether it's, you know, you mentioned raising money for charity, all that stuff. Why do you guys want to do it? Why do you want to bring it back? Uh, it's just a really fun event, you know, besides the fact that we are raising money for a good cause and everything, uh, it's fun, it's, it's a good good way to, you know, get team chemistry going and, and just kind of get out there with the fans too. How has the summer been going so far? Really well. PRPs have been going good, uh, conditioning and workouts are going well, so we're definitely excited to get the young guys out there when we come back for the break too. What's kind of been the offense's goals or trying, what you guys are trying to work on uh, this summer in the PRPs and stuff? Uh, we've done a lot of things. We're starting to kind of get um, our game plans down for the team. So, you know, we might throw in something for UL one day and then Washington State the next day. So it's exciting. When you mentioned, you know, kind of these PRPs, that's when guys tend to kind of step up, whether it be in leadership opportunities, maybe younger guys who haven't played, a much, played as much. Anybody that's really caught your eye as, you know, a guy who's been around here now and a vet, anybody caught your eye so far? Yeah, there's definitely been uh, a lot of guys that have stepped up. And everyone's getting a lot of reps right now, too, which is great. But, uh from a wide receiver standpoint, a um, couple of guys, Sean Mosser looks really good right now, and uh, Killian Butler, both of them. Are you trying to take on more of a leadership role this year? Obviously being a senior, and, and obviously Shane's gone, and you look at that room, I mean, are, is, this, is this a chance for you to be more of a leader? Do you like being a leader? Or what's kind of your style there? Yeah, I think I'm definitely a leader on the team. Um, you know, maybe not the most verbal guy, but I think I do lead with my actions, and I'm excited to step into more of a role for this year. Be it the PRPs, the workouts, whatever, anything different maybe this summer than the past summers for you guys, or is it kind of just trying to maintain what you've done before? Uh, there's not too much of a difference. Uh, I think we're just trying to kind of perfect everything, um, you know, stay in our groove. We've got a little break coming up. Um, you know, everyone needs to stay in shape and, and come back the same way we left. Talking to Brett after the spring game, say, so what's going to motivate you this summer? And he said nine and four. I mean, what, what have you kind of have you noticed a, a motivated uh, group this summer in the workouts and stuff, trying to trying to get back to Elite level there. Yeah, everyone's definitely a lot more motivated. Um, you know, nine and four kind of says it all. So that's a pretty good way to put it. What was you know if, you know for you? I mean, we mentioned what you're working on and all that stuff. How how can you try to take a step up? Obviously, last year in a lot of ways, you know, one of the better years receivers ever had here at Boise State. What what how do you try to top that in, in your own mind? Um, I don't know about top it. I think it's just more about seeing what I did last year and trying to you know do whatever I need to do to help the team this year which might be a different role, might be something else, I don't know. Is that what you're willing to do? I mean, obviously people are going to be focusing on you, and of course Brett has a good rapport with you, but is that something you're willing to do? I mean, whether it is altering whatever that whatever it might be, you know, are you willing to do that? Yeah, I think, you know, everyone on the team just wants to win, no matter what it's going to take, and everyone on the team is willing to sacrifice whatever they need to, to do that. And we mentioned, you know, Brett being out there, obviously, I know he was out quite a bit last, you know, last summer, but it's probably a little different now. He's coming in as the guy at quarterback now with obviously the Finley gone. What, how, how has he done out there, you know, as, as a quarterback, kind of leading things for you guys? Yeah, he's definitely stepped up as a leader. Um, he's kind of running the whole thing right now, so it's definitely good to see, um, you know, guys that just naturally fall into that position. It, it's pretty cool. Does it help a little bit? I mean, just the fact that even last summer, you know, I mean, there was there was a competition going on, and you know, right now, obviously, you you know, kind of where things are stacked up. Uh, does that help you guys a little bit? Just kind of having someone set in there. Yeah, I think um, there's always competition's always good, no matter what. You should always feel like you know someone's trying to take your spot, which is good, and it's it's a competition on the field, but we also try to help each other as much as we can.
Good morning. Anybody doing great in the, in, in the workouts? Mentioned the PRP. Anybody workout warrior so far that you've been impressed with, or is it you, or who is it? Uh, we actually <laughs> have a lot of teams right now. We, we break up and draft our own players for competitions mm -hmm. and stuff. And uh, right now, Jake Rose team is in the lead, so you know we're coming after him right now. How many guys? How many teams are they're kind of broken up into? Uh, I think there's ten teams. Okay. With Mountain West Media Days, some guys love it. I think Matt Miller claimed to have made a deal in exchange for him going down there. I mean, is it something you get excited for? I know it's a quick trip, or is it just kind of a, another, instead of five, talking to five guys, you're talking to 50 guys? Yeah, it's exciting. Uh, I'm happy that they picked me, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. There's, uh, you get a lot of questions all over the place. What's the worst question you've been asked so far up to this point? Because I guarantee you, you'll be top You can say these around if you want. Yeah, <laughs> you can say that that was the question. You no, know, I don't really know the worst question. The worst interviews are always after a loss. You know, you just don't want to be in there. And but you know, you have to do it, and you have to uh, kind of trust the media. So.